Sometimes with Guitar Hero games, we have to do re-records with artists. So a lot of these songs, 30, 40 years old, before the digital age, we really want to be able to isolate each of the particular instruments in a song. And if the master recording doesn't exist, the only alternative is to actually do a re-record. We are in Electric Lady Studios in New York City on 8th Street. Electric Lady Studios is Jimi Hendrix's studio, and I kind of feel them. You know, we've done recording here before, and uh, it's a great place to be. Having the opportunity to do Cherry Bomb again is incredible. What, what, what makes it really amazing is that I'm here with Joan, and that's, it's like time has stood still. It's incredible. We were really fortunate to be able to work with Joan and Sherry on the re-record for Cherry Bomb, and we're just fortunate to have it in the game because they're both legends. They were trendsetters and style makers at a really young age, you know, under 20 years old. Well, the first time that uh, Joan and Kim came out and played the song, I was floored. It was saying everything that I wanted to say at that time. The lyrics captured that sort of teenage rebellion. It embodies the way most young girls feel at that age. It's a great breakout song. Since the entire game is about transforming your characters into these warrior versions, there's no better fit than Alice Cooper. He really created that stage persona, mixing hard rock with heavy drama and heavy theatrics and a more dark tone and vibe. No More Mr. Nice Guy is one of those songs that it was me screaming back at the public. At the time, I was guilty of every single thing that was wrong with America. And then I said, okay, that does it. No More Mr. Nice Guy. Gloves are off. And they said, you mean you were being a nice guy? I said, yeah, oh, I can get a lot worse. And it ended up being one of those songs that just everybody connected to. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Clean. No more Mr. Nice Guy. They say he's sick, he's a Alice insisted on uh, re-recording with his original producer, Bob Ezrin. Bob worked with Alice on many of his early albums, and they wanted to really recapture that, that sound that they had. They wanted to sound as close to the original as possible. It was such a great idea to take this stuff and deconstruct it in a way so that, that kids could experience it, you know, almost a part at a time. It sounds like the old record, but better. Music hasn't changed that much, but technology has. You can tell the old song was here and the new one is much closer to you and really attacking you more. So CBGB's is the one um, authentic, real-world venue in Warriors of Rock. We've put more detail into that venue than any previous real-world venue that we've done in the Guitar Hero series. I think it's great that Cherry Bomb is featured in CBGB's. The Runaways played there. It was, I think, our first show in New York City in 1976. It was a sold-out show. I can remember people pretty much hanging off the rafters. It really was like a last little piece of rock and roll history. It was hot and sweaty and dirty, just like it should be, and it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs>